What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we're going to be opening the icon packs and maybe some player pick packs of the viewers. Uh, we are starting on the Rubber's account, and he has got Giorgio Chiellini, Summer Stars, in his 50k pack. I'm sure he wants to buy him. Oh, we have some items to deal with first, so we can't do that. And it is the 1 of 4, 85 plus rated rare players. If you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be very much appreciated. And, uh... Laggy. Um, check out down below for links and socials and merch. We've got the Why Are You There shirt. Uh, it's not there now. It's, well, Why Aren't You There should be the uh, should be the question really, isn't it? Um, but uh, yeah, everything you need is down below, guys. I spread myself thin, man. You know, we're on TikTok. We're on Instagram. We're on uh, Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on three no four youtube channels like we just we just do it all i try my best anyway me me and the team we do what we can oh unlucky the next one not so good we've got the merch line down below as well with the new summer merch too and uh yeah if you guys want to check any of that out link is down below to everything and anything and everything else as well um but for today we're here for some icon packs here is icon packet number one. I don't think these are good value. Let's get something good out of them. Dutch. Center forward. Can it be? What a start. Johan Cruyff. Oh. Dennis Burkamp. Never mind, eh? On to the next. Here we go, on to the second account. Another player pick pack. And we get a Summer Stars. Ooh, cheeky little Kaylor Navas. You love to see it. Karen Benzema in there as well. That wasn't worth it again. And then the Icon Packet. Number two. Hook it up, baby! Brazil. Cam! Ronaldinho, can you believe it? Let's go. Oh, it's Kaka. Oh, he looks massive there, doesn't he? Jesus Christ. Get, get out, pal. He is. Wait, why does his like player model look so big? No, don't put your thumbs up, mate. Nobody. Could have been worse. See, this is what I mean by like by the pack, right? This is worth about three times more than the pack. So technically a dub, right? However, this card is not at the level of cards in the game right now. It's just not. And, and that's why I think even though there's... I'd say there's probably like three to five players at most that you really want and everyone else just doesn't make any sense. But at least he's worth more than the pack. So that is all right. Oh, my guy. That is a super nice team. Jorginho going to get that upgrade as well. That is a super nice team. Your bench as well, man. Oh. But to, fair play to EA, man. They have done a good job of making a super amount of usable players. Here we go with icon pack number three. What have we had? We had a Dutch centre forward and a Brazilian cam. What next? French cam. You know why this is just awful? Because it's... Oh, wait. It's not a goalkeeper. Oh, let's go. It's loud drop. <sighs> Gotta love that, haven't you? <sighs> you haven't got to love that at all. That's awful. It, like what what i think is right because of where we are in the game cycle because we're coming towards the back end now there's like 10 maximum 11 weeks before the new game comes out and obviously the three to four weeks leading up to the new game this game is just done done the demos out the web app comes out the early release comes out so we've realistically got like six to seven playable weeks left even foot champs ends at one stage or another as well and, and there's no more of that too right so what what i think is italy what I think is, would it matter? Would it matter if this was just 
an 85 rated squad. And that's it. Yeah, exactly, Diego. Just 185 rated squad. Would it matter? Is it going to impact people's game so negatively or the market so negatively that it makes a difference? It's, it, I just don't think it is. I just don't think it is. Yeah, we got a 93 at last. Um, I, I personally don't think that just allowing people to, to create. Do you know what I would love to do? I, I, I wish... I, I wish I had the capabilities of making the content interesting with the idea that I have of never, ever, ever submitting any card into um, into an SPC unless it was a duplicate, right? Because I'd love to see what you could have at the end. Do you know what I mean? Like... All, like imagine all the fodder you've put into packs and picks and all that sort of crap for, for what back imagine what you could have instead oh dear oh dear oh dear um like where would your account be right now if you only ever put duplicate cards into sbcs if you never did all those upgrade packs yeah okay you might hit a sick player out of an upgrade pack but if you sold those items instead and had coins so i don't know I don't know how to make it interesting. I don't know how to make it engaging. Center mid. Oh, no. Miroslav. Miroslav closer. Miroslav further away. Another 92. Let's go. <sighs> I would love to do a gameplay only RTG. And again, just see what you can build. Just sell everything that comes out of packs. And only use cards that you earn via gameplay. Not, not pack gameplay. Okay, red pick's a bit different but only gameplay players. I wonder what your team would look like compared to everybody else's. Portugal, right mid, uh, Luis Figo, Figaro, 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 Figaro. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, nice team. Nice team, some real cool players in there. Still got gold Varan. <laughs> it's fucking September, pal. What are you doing, mate? Let's get you a better centre back. Let's get you a better centre back. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Benzema again. We've actually seen that same pool of players basically every time. Yeah, I've I've seen rumours that weekend league is going down to twenty games and rivals is is changing or something like that. But until we get like official information on how it's going to work and what's going to change, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay too much attention to it because it might set like might sound like something cool you might be like oh damn 20 games that's cool but it might be like a 24 hour period now to play them or a 48 hour period to play them it might you know it might go back to the old time frame of opening friday at 1 a.m technically saturday and lasting for 48 hours you know uh, you don't like like until we get the details i i'm i've learned and been burnt too many times but i've learned now just to just just to wait until it all comes out dutch forward icon come on please someone good Rude boy, man. Rude boy. Three star, three star. I do like his uh, work rate, though. Hog lag. <laughs> oh, I love a bit of hog lag. That's a very nice team. A bit of a La Liga setup going on there. You don't mind that. Right, here we go. Summer stars came. Let's go, baby. This is going to have a summer stars in it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh yeah, ma ele. <laughs> oh, not worth as much as a pack. <laughs> oh. No, not worth as much as a pack. That's crazy. A 94 rated Summer Stars card worth less than the pack itself. And that is why it was downvoted massively. Footies will be there. I don't think footies exists anymore, man. I think it's been replaced by like Summer, summer Heat or Festival of Fart and things like that, you know? Argentina. Cam, is it going to be... Maradona. Nope. Is it Raquel May? We've had all the trolls, man. Apart from Portuguese. We just need like a deco or something and then we're, then we're golden. As like a consumer of this game. It's just... It, it, I, it's, I just... It's awful. Isn't it? 
It's, it's just awful. I don't I just, I, you know what I mean? There are so many aspects of this game that I hate. So many that I love. So many, so many aspects of this game that I, I hate that won't change because it drives revenue. And that, that, that makes it very difficult for me personally because for example, these packs, right? These, these packs are a prime example of what I'm talking about. I'm opening these packs because people love icons. I'm going to make a video off of these packs. I'm going to generate revenue off of these packs. EA, no, people love icons. So EA are going to generate revenue off these packs. So EA win and Nepenthes, the YouTuber wins, right? But Craig, the consumer loses and you, the viewer lose. And that should not be how it works. EA should like EA shouldn't be fighting against us. They should be pulling with us. And it's up. It's, it's just it's it, it leaves. I would say every every single content creator. I would say it leaves in a moral dilemma of what to do, because essentially, as as human beings with a moral compass, we know that many aspects of this game are wrong. It, it's that it, there are you could argue the case that it's wrong of me to even make a video on these packs because it might entice somebody to do the pack that is just going to waste their time money and everything else but at the same time this is my job you've got to make a living is this a pim load the mateus you know it let's go baby first 94 he's super common um i don't know if he's worth more than the pack i think he is yeah he's our second dub well done well done mateus so, so yeah, it, like it, it just it leaves you just honestly in just an in an interesting situation where I can I can say, guys, don't do this pack. It's super bad value. But then you're sitting there watching me open this pack, and I like I don't like it's it's, it's hard to deal with, isn't it? As I say, as as, as Nepenthes the content creator or Nepenthes the entertainer God, God forbid my videos are ever entertaining or, or like Nepenthes the YouTuber I love these packs man We've got good views on stream These videos do well on viewership on YouTube We make TikToks out of them And, and we make clips videos out of them we, we just get a plethora of content It's brilliant, I love it But then I'm seeing these packs open and I'm in pain. I'm in Spain without the S, with a capital P and a full stop at the end. I'm in pain because these are awful value. And that is why I have part of, uh, you know, the, the small minority of uh, the, the hateful viewers or whatever. On a daily basis, I get these both of these comments. I get, you never talk negatively about EA, you shill. And I also get, man, if you don't like the game, stop playing it. And it's because I'm like, yeah, icon packs, guys. This is so cool. But then I'm also like, these packs are awful, guys. Don't do them. <laughs> and so whichever part of that you hear or you see, you then put yourself into a category of, man, how can this guy be happy with these icon packs? These icon packs are awful value. Or you might see me complain about the icon packs and be like, man, do all you ever do is complain about the game? You should be grateful. And it, it, it just, it literally leaves you just in, in a situation that is, it's, it's just a nightmare. It's just a nightmare. Honestly, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just a nightmare. A nice squad that is. Hey, Carlos, thanks for the stars, man. Much appreciated, bro. Some people are never happy. And yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go on in, go on in. Let's get, let's, let's get a big icon, please. Dutch, love that. Striker, no. Just be Cliver, because I like him. I don't think he's high enough rated as he is. Van Roy again. Anyway, long story short, 
I love this game and I hate this game all at the same time and I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to process it. But what he was actually saying, and he was Romanian, so the, the language barrier obviously caused some issues. But what he was actually saying was, this game sucks. Like, like you can't win with this game kind of thing. Here we go. Here, please, Johan Cruyff, come on. Fur camp again. We've, we've, we've entered into a, a world where views and clicks and revenue and prize money and the, sh the quickest shortcut to the success, that has a very nice team by the way, is the value now. Not like the best way, I've, I've explained it like this a few times and it, I always come back to this, right? But with video games now, it's no longer about the journey, but just about the result as we get another Figo. Now, people don't give a damn how you played they just want to know where you finished where'd you finish the champ this week where did and then if you were like maradona oh yeah oh no raquel may again to getting the result and that's it and oh lapadula is still not worth as much as the pack but we'll take another summer stars um and it's big it, it, it it's sad isn't it it's sad that it didn't matter how I got those packs for scoring with the Chinese players or for scoring with the Senegalese players or for score oh god or for scoring with the South Korean player or anything all that mattered was that I got it as quick as possible and that's that's just a sad way even even with the gameplay within FIFA right I sit there and I go into my first game of champs and I can't wait for this guy to rage quit, right? I just want this guy to rage quit. As soon as I get into a game, I just want this guy to rage quit, right? Score my first goal, why isn't he quitting? Or I want to move on to the next game because I just want to get through my games. I don't actually want, like, uh, what, 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 like, I, and I went through a phase earlier on this year where I enjoyed playing the game because I stopped caring about whether I won or lost I stopped caring about where I was in rivals or where I was in champs. And I, I built a team that I just loved the team. And I was just like, I just want to play with this team and enjoy this team. And it only lasted about like 10 or 15 games before you're like, okay, now I've enjoyed the team. Now I don't care about the team anymore because I've already gone through the team, right? And so it, it does, it makes me sad that I've got all of these cool, incredible players, so many sick players. And I don't even want to experience football with them. I just want to get in, use and abuse, and get out. And that's that's just sad, isn't it? It's oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm a couple of games off a thousand. I think I'm just going to stop when I get there. Champs rivals gameplay is boring. You face the same teams and tactics all the time. You sure do. You sure do. Um, yeah, they, these these were bad guys. But anyway, little f fair bit of discussion there. A bit a bit, bit of uh, maybe some stuff maybe you guys didn't expect. Um, thank you guys for letting me on your accounts. Uh, I do appreciate it. For those that have got the player picks left, uh, I hope you get something good out of your player picks. But yeah, 15 icons or 16 icons that it was. Two icons worth uh, a little bit. Kaka and Mateus. And then lots of icons that were worth absolutely nothing. And so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.